JK, JK, this is ASMR, calm down, what's up buddies, and buddy girls, welcome back to Facts. Friday. So, as you can see, we are doing our Egypt pyramid video. Well, history of the pyramids. So, let's um, get started. Let's do the introduction. Built during a time when Egypt was one of the richest and most powerful civilizations in the world. The pyramids, especially the Great Pyramids of Giza, are some of the most magnificent man-made structures in history. Their massive scale reflects the unique role that the pharaoh or king played in ancient Egyptian society. Though pyramids were built from the beginning of the Old Kingdom to the close of the Ptolemaic period, in the 4th century AD, of our beer of pyramid building began with the late third dynasty and continued until roughly the sixth twenty three twenty five BC. More than four thousand years later, the Egyptian pyramids still retain much of their majesty. Providing a glimpse into the country's rich and glorious past. The Pharaoh Egyptian society. During the third and fourth dynasties of the Old Kingdom, Egypt enjoyed tremendous economic prosperity and stability. Kings held a unique position in Egyptian society. Somewhere in between human and divine, they were believed to have been chosen by the gods to serve as mediators between them and the people on earth. Because of this, it was in everyone's interest to keep the king's majesty intact even after his death. When he was believed to become Osiris, god of the dead, the new pharaoh in turn became Horus, the falcon god, who served as protector of the sun god, Ra. smooth-angled sides symbolized the rays of the sun and were designed to help the king's soul ascend to heaven and join the gods, particularly the sun god Ra. Ancient Egyptians believed that when the king died, Part of 
the spirit known as Ka remained with his body to properly care for his spirit. The corpse was mummified and everything the king would need in the afterlife was buried with him. like speculation or a lot of speculation around what times the pyramids were built but I'm just going to be going by this um, from the history.com website um, I mean we can get into other we can get into other um, videos and go like into conspiracies and stuff like that if you guys want successor were completed, probably due to their 
relatively short reigns. The earliest tomb constructed as a true, smooth-sided, not stepped pyramid was the Red Pyramid at Dasher. One of three burial structures built for the first king of the fourth dynasty, Sneferu. 613 through 2589. It was named for the color of the limestone blocks used to construct the pyramid's core. The Great Pyramids of Giza. No pyramids are more celebrated than the Great Pyramids of Giza, located on a plateau on the near on the west bank of the Nile River. On the outskirts of modern-day Cairo, the oldest and largest of the three pyramids at Giza, known as the Great Pyramid, is the only surviving structure out of the famed Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. It was built for Khufu, Sneferu's successor and the second of the eight kings of the fourth dynasty. Though Khufu reigned for 23 years, 2589 through 2566 BC, relatively little is known of his reign beyond the grand grandeur of his pyramid. The sides of the pyramid's base average 755.75 feet or 230 meters, and its original height was 481.4 feet or 147 meters making it the largest pyramid in the world. Three small pyramids built for Khufu's queens are lined up next to the Great Pyramid, and a tomb was found nearby containing the empty sarcophagus of his mother, Queen Hetafir's. Yeah, that sounds wrong. Like other pyramids, Khufu's is surrounded by rows of mastabas, where relatives or officials of the king were buried to accompany and support him in the afterlife. The middle pyramid at Giza was built for Khufu's son, Khafri, 2558-2532 through 2532 B.C. A unique feature built inside Khafri's pyramid complex was the Great Sphinx, a guardian statue carved in limestone with the head of a man in the body of a lion. It was the largest statue in the ancient world, measuring 240 feet long and 66 feet high. In the 18th dynasty, 1500 BC, the Great Sphinx would come to be wor worshipped itself as the image of a local form of the god Horus. The southernmost pyramid at Giza was built for Khafre's son, Menkar. 2532 through 2503 BC. It is the shortest of the three pyramids at 218 feet and is a precursor of the smaller pyramid that would be con constructed during the 5th and 6th dynasties. Approximately 
approximately 2.3 million blocks of stone, averaging about 2.5 tons each, had to be cut, transported, and assembled to build Khufu's Great Pyramid. The ancient Greek historian Herodotus wrote that it took 20 years to build and required the labor of a hundred thousand men. But later, archaeological evidence suggests that the workforce might actually have been around 20,000. Though some popular versions of history held that the pyramids were built by slaves or foreigners forced into labor. Skeletons excavated from the area show that the workers were probably native Egyptian agricultural laborers who worked on the pyramids during the time of year when the Nile River flooded much of the land nearby. The End of the Pyramid Era Pyramids continued to be built throughout the 5th and 6th dynasties, but the general quality and scale of their construction declined over this period. Along with the power and wealth of the kings themselves, in the later Old Kingdom pyramids, beginning with that of King Unas, 2375 through 2345, pyramid builders began to inscribe written accounts of events in the king's reign on the walls of the burial chamber and the rest of the pyramid's interior. Known as pyramid texts, these are the earliest significant religious com compositions known from ancient Egypt. The last of the great pyramid builders was Pepi II, 2278 through 2184. The second king of the sixth dynasty who came to power as a young boy and ruled for 94 years. By the time of his rule, Old Kingdom prosperity was dwindling, and the pharaoh had lost some of his quasi-divine status. As the power of non-royal administrative officials grew, Pepi II pyramid built at Saqqara and completed some 30 years into his reign, was much shorter, 172 feet, than others of the Old Kingdom. With Pepi's death, the kingdom and strong central government virtually collapsed, and Egypt entered a turbulent phase known as the First Intermediate period. Later, later kings of the 12th dynasty would return to pyramid building during the so-called Middle Kingdom phase. But it was never on the same scale as the Great Pyramids. And the pyramids today robbers and other vandals in both ancient and modern times removed most of the bodies and funeral goods from Egypt's pyramids and plum plundered their exteriors as well. Stripped of most of their smooth white limestone coverings, the Great Pyramids no longer reach their original heights. Khufu's, for example, measures only 451 feet high. Nonetheless,
Thus, millions of people continue to visit the pyramids each year, drawn by their towering grandeur and the endearing allure of Egypt's rich and glorious past. That's all I have for this video. This is only a one-parter. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up. Let's try to get another 35 likes on this video. If we can get 35 likes again or more, we will do another history video. I'm thinking something about Japan. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to keep thinking about it. I will let you guys know soon.